Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Arch with Imran. I'm Imran and today we're going to be doing a video on how I made this architectural composter in Photoshop. Now, we're going to be going through a time lapse, walking through my entire process and I'll be talking over it to help you guys. Really quickly, I'll be using loads of previous techniques we've covered on this channel in Rhino. If you need them, I'll put a card in the middle of the video. Let's get into it. So here we are in Photoshop, I've just added a grass texture but this is my building straight from V-Ray. I first add a sky and I like to get it all colour matched um, as early as possible. Now I think it's really important that you guys look at precedence and you understand roughly how you want it to look before you start doing it. Now I don't have a clear idea but I have a rough, rough idea of the layout and colour palette I want to go for. You can see in this video I'll experiment quite a bit and I sometimes go back on stuff I've done. Now, all these people are from mrcutout.com, um, I'll put a link in the description, it's a great resource for free, um, background free images. So as you can see, I originally intended to do a more cartoon look by having orange people, but I decided that I wanted, wanted to make it look slightly more realistic as I was doing it. Now, one thing I must stress, when you're doing a hyper-realistic render, it's really important to pay attention to the light and shadows. As you'll see, I made this mistake and I had to redo the, the light on the glass and under the tunnel. As you'll see, I also rub out all the shadows from behind the models as they're all different angles, and I replace them with my own. Now the way I'm doing this, I'm duplicating the people, um, reshaping them to the ground and then I'm doing a colour overlay and doing Gaussian blur. I then turn down the opacity just a little bit. This is a technique we've seen in a past example. So it's important to also look at the, the weighting of each side of your poster. You don't want any one element to be to draw too much attention, you want it to all work together cohesively. So I also decided from looking at precedents that I wanted my furniture to be a different colour to the actual structural elements. So what I do is I select each bit and I cut it out and put it on a new layer. Here's me experimenting with different light and overlays. And again, you have seen how to do all of these in previous videos. You've seen the floor, the time lapse of the floor plan. You've seen the tutorial on the exploded axon and you've seen the sections. If you haven't, I'll put those in a card right now. So again, here you're seeing me use the make 2D command and I'm extruding each of the ground slabs to make diagrams. I use the technique we've used before where I export them to a separate document and then print them as a PDF. I then colour overlay them and add a stroke. So my submission requirement had three different diagrams as well as an exploded axonometric. So I did a 4D massing diagram, I did a site plan and I did a um, circulation diagram. Now I'm using this, this cyan colour as a, as a key highlight throughout the, throughout the piece. You can see I use my graphics tablet to just hand draw where I want my circulation lines to be and I neaten them up in the future. Now 
Next, by looking at a precedent, I got the idea to do a site plan as one of my diagrams. I think this turned out really nice. I use my, again, I use my graphics tablet to hand color in each of the paths and the water. And finally, don't forget to add a Norse symbol to any diagrams you do. Now, finally, I use the pen tool and I stroke it with my brush to go over all of my circulation lines, making sure it's on a separate layer so I can delete my previous layer afterwards. I do some final text adjustments and there you go, we've finished. So guys, hopefully you found that helpful seeing my process from start to finish of how I make a composter in Photoshop. Again, if you found it helpful, make sure to smash that like button, hit that subscribe, and I'll be making sure to make way more content for you guys. Please feel free to request stuff in the comments, and I'll do my best to help. Thanks for watching.